Ministry of Defense commits £6.6 .6 billion to development of new technologies, such as hypersonic missiles and laser weapons. The Integrated Review of Foreign, Defense, Security and Development Policy, launched by the Prime Minister on Tuesday, has committed £6.6 .6 billion for novel military research. The MOD will invest a significant amount of the extra money it won from the Treasury last year in higher risk research. Adversaries such as Russia have invested in new air weapons programs, with the potential to outmatch existing ballistic missile defenses, including hypersonic glide vehicles that are thought to be capable of flying at over 15,000 miles per hour. The MOD said research into space, directed energy weapons, and advanced high-speed missiles will deliver an enduring military edge. Defense chiefs in Britain and the US have been concerned in recent years by the development of new military kits in Russia, China, Iran and North Korea. The race to develop such weapons is partly a result of reports from Russia of successful flights of the Mach 8 Sirkin hypersonic anti-ship cruise missile, test fired last October, and the Avangard hypersonic glide vehicle, thought to be able to carry nuclear warheads at 20 times the speed of sound. The Chinese DF-17 hypersonic glide vehicle is said to be able to fly at Mach 10. However, there is no way to verify these claims. The MOD will invest in new missile technology in a bid not only to develop such weapons, but also to understand better how best to defend against them. The Royal Navy's fleet grew with warships armed with laser weapons, following a pound 16.5 billion increase in defence by the Prime Minister. The UK Prime Minister has pledged to develop the Royal Navy's surface fleet and arm future warships with high-tech laser weapons after lighting up the biggest surge in defence spending since the end of the Cold War. The Prime Minister announced a four-year finance deal for the Ministry of Defence, worth pound 16.5 billion, to lawmakers at the Commons aims to transform the military, developing cutting-edge capabilities in the future battlefield of cyber and space. It includes the creation of an agency dedicated to artificial intelligence and a space command capable of launching the UK's first rocket by 2022. The proposal guaranteed the construction of eight state-of-the-art Type 26 frigates and five general-purpose Type 31 frigates, which combined would replace the current fleet of Type 23 warships. And in a victory for naval campaigners, the government also announced it will commit to the next-generation Type 32 frigate. Prime Minister said his defense modernization package will end the era of retreat and improve our overall capabilities when it comes to the armed forces. He said replacing traditional weapons with energy weapons would help solve the problem of troops running low on ammunition and that lasers were one of the technologies that would revolutionize warfare. The UK is investing $160 million into new directed energy weapons, including technologies intended for naval applications. The Ministry of Defence has already spent about $37 million on a new naval anti-drone laser system, dubbed Dragonfire, which will begin shipboard testing later this year. Dragonfire's concept is comparable to LAWS, the US Navy's 30 kW prototype laser weapon. But the MOD is now looking to the UK defence industry to develop additional weapons to be fitted to warships, aircraft, helicopters and armoured vehicles. The new laser weapon will differ from Dragonfire in that it will combine multiple laser beams to produce a weapon more powerful than its predecessors and more resistant to adverse weather conditions. Trials will begin in 2023, and if they prove successful, these weapons could be serving with frontline units within a decade. The program also includes research on a new radio frequency, microwave, weapon system that could be used to attack the enemy's computers and electronic networks. Solid-state laser weapons are of increasing interest to military planners because of their limitless magazine capacity and their suitability for anti-air, anti-missile and anti-surface applications. In the United States, Dynetics, Lockheed, and UK-based Rolls-Royce are developing a powerful 100kW truck-mounted laser, the High Energy Laser Tactical Vehicle Demonstrator, for the US Army's Space and Missile Command. 
Lockheed is also working on a 60 kW plus laser system for the U.S. Navy, dubbed Helios, which is intended to counter small surface craft and small drones. China is also developing and testing tactical laser systems for use in both coast-based and naval applications, below. That it could be deployed aboard the Pla Navy's Type 055 destroyer in the coming years as an alternative to the HHQ-10 surface-to-air missile. Whitehall is spending £30 million turning science fiction into fact, and test laser weapons on Royal Navy warships industry has been given two years to design, build and then test a laser-directed energy weapon at sea and on land. The weapon is intended to down or disrupt drones or missiles fast attack boats and even incoming mortar rounds courtesy of a high-power, concentrated laser beam. The U.S. Navy already has a laser weapon fitted to the support ship USS Ponce in the Gulf, where it has shot down a drone, set fast attack craft on fire, and blinded sensors and instruments on weapons systems. In the UK, a consortium, Dragonfire, comprising a mix of major defense firms such as MBDA and BAE, plus science firms like Kinetic has formed to produce a similar weapon. The £30 million injection from the MOD will assess how the system can pick up and track targets at various ranges and in varied weather conditions over land and sea when it demonstrated in 2019. If Dragonfire proves successful, the first defensive laser weapons could be fitted to RN vessels in the middle of the next decade.